Right, it is Sunday morning and I have been over to Morrison's. I have spent £5.31 and I got some good stuff today. First thing is broccoli is back. Look at the size of these broccoli heads. These were 99p. I mean, it says it's a large broccoli, but they always used to be 79. They're down to 50p. So I bought three because I have some space in my freezer. Uh, this is probably going to be my last shop, I think, before I go away. I'm going away. It's a week today. So I don't want to buy too much in that stays in the fridge because then I'll either have to eat it faster or I need to freeze it. So some things are freezeable and that's fine. I bought uh, spring greens, Y79P, down to 59. They used to put two or three spring greens in a bag, now there's one. So there's some shrinkflation there for you. I managed to get sweet potatoes, which I haven't seen in a very long time. These are the wonky ones. These were 59p down to 35p, and I've bought two because these freeze really well. I treated myself to two avocados. These were 80p by the looks of it, 89p down to 66, and I just felt like having something different. A um, bit pricey, but hey ho. And the last thing I bought, which is pretty good, white nectarines. Now, I don't tend to buy stuff like this in the supermarkets too often because it's always disappointing when you eat it. They store things for so long that they lose their all their flavour. They go weird and fluffy. Pota um, apples are the same. But I might make a, a nectarine version of a peach cobbler. Uh, because I haven't done one of those in absolute ages and there's more nectarines realistically that I can eat in a week. So these were £2 each down to 60p, so I got eight of the, uh, two packs of those, so that's eight. And that's it. That's a pretty healthy shop, I reckon. There wasn't much else in there, uh, but I think that'll do me well. I've got enough in to last me, so I'm not going to do a Tuesday evening haul. Uh, that is the lot. So that's Sunday. It is tipping it down today. It's not horribly cold, but it's not amazing. So I'm going to be trying to get on with some work. I've been trying to get on with some jewellery making and I keep being distracted by a million other things. And I need to get some of that done and then I'm going to take the rest of it with me when I go away. I'm going to do some work while I'm down at my parents. So time to focus today, time to focus. So that's Sunday morning done. So welcome to a very sunny Tuesday morning. We've had some pretty miserable weather and apparently this week is going to be quite glorious. And it was lovely yesterday it's gorgeous today and it's going to be fabulous for the next week. I have quite a busy week this week. I am going to my parents on Sunday morning and I have a lot of things to do. So Tuesday morning, this morning I am off to my fortnightly Tuesday clean. This evening I have a two hour clean over at one of the businesses I clean for. Tomorrow I have a three hour clean during the day for the elderly couple that I clean for. I then have Thursday, Friday off. No walks this week because I need to pack. I need to get my home sorted. I need to write my lists and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I want to take some work with, with me this time. So I've got two days to get organised. I then have a four hour clean at the weekend for the two businesses that I clean for. And I haven't decided whether to, <clears throat> I haven't decided whether to go and do it on Friday evening and crash it all out in one go, 
or do it on Saturday morning as usual because um, I'm off Sunday morning so I need to make sure that I am fully organized and I have time to get packed and whatever it depends how organized I am on Thursday and Friday if I'm like really organized I'll just do it Saturday because then that will give me the remains of Saturday before I head off first thing on Sunday morning so that's my very busy week organized At the moment I'm going through a bit of a phase of, oh, Tuesday morning do I have to go and do this clean? And I'm all right once I'm there and I get on with it, three hours flies when you're busy. I don't want to take on any more cleaning jobs and one of the reasons is that when it's time for me to go away, I have to just tell everybody, well, you're just gonna have to look after yourselves while I'm away. And that's the reason I took on this job is because I'm still classed as self-employed even though the contracts are managed through an agency so there's no one telling me how much holiday I can take or when I can take off so I do four trips down to my parents a year they're two weeks each that's eight weeks of holiday I don't know any company that's going to give me eight weeks of paid holiday a year or allowed annual leave so by being self-employed it's uh it's entirely in my control with the cleaning agency while i'm away companies that are that have contracts with them can ask for a replacement cleaner to come in while i'm away if they need one most people don't i think this new fortnightly clean will do uh, because the second week that I'm away would be my fortnightly visit and I'm not going to be here. So I think that they are going to get someone in for that fortnightly and then keep me on fortnights. Uh, but that's entirely up to them. I have done stand-ins for people who've been away before. You know, it's quick, easy money if somebody just needs a job or two and doesn't want to be committed to a more regular a regular claim. So that's that's why I would always stick to doing this on a self-employed basis because there's no one can tell me that well, you can't go away. They just have to muddle along. And I need that autonomy, I need that freedom. That's why I don't do a regular PAYE job. It's why I work for myself, is that I want to and need to have the freedom to do what I want and I've worked hard to make sure that I'm doing jobs that I can either take with me when I go away because very often when I'm down at my parents I'm not doing very much we're not going away anywhere we're not going on day trips every day my parents are still running their normal lives so I tend to fit around that and I just kind of work from theirs it's really a case of just being there and then kind of being around so I have plenty of time to get on with stuff so with most of my jobs like a lot of the things I do I can take with me so that's what I tend to do and that works really well for me so I should get all this done and make my lists for you know making sure I don't forget anything when I go away I like to be really organised, so I make all my lists, I don't like to forget anything. I like the flat to be completely clean and ready for when I get back. So I will clean the flat right through, I will change the bed, I will make sure there's no food or anything lying around that shouldn't be there. So that I come back and everything's ready to go and I don't have to worry about it. Because when you've you know, been driving five or six hours, the last thing you want to do is get back and then you've got to do X, Y or Z. It's 
now three days before I'm due to go away and I am just being organised with the food that I still have here in my kitchen because I don't like ending up with too much over before I go away because that means things are either going to have to end up in the bin if it's not something I can freeze or I end up having to take it with me down to my parents and then it probably won't be eaten down there either. So I try to be really balanced about what I'm buying. I didn't go and do a Tuesday evening shop because I have enough here to juggle with. So it's now Friday morning. I'm just a, gonna start prepping lunch soon because it's getting on towards lunchtime. And I'm just looking at what I've got. So I've run out of like meat-based things in the fridge and I'm putting one or two things out the freezer. So today I am going to, I'm going to make lunch, which is enough for dinner as well, because that's kind of how I'm working it at the moment. It's like almost like pre-prepped. So I've taken out a uh, a smoked uh, a, a kipper out the freezer. God, I love that smell. So I'm going to do that, and that's going to be split across lunch and dinner for the next. Well, I have lunch and dinner today, lunch and dinner Saturday, and then Sunday morning I'm off. So I've got half a greens here. I have this many potatoes, so that needs to be split basically into two days. I also have two sweet potatoes left. They're quite small sweet potatoes, but one of those for each day will be fine. I also have a bit of broccoli left but I have loads in the freezer so I might pull out some more if I need it. There's a couple of rather sad looking carrots at the bottom there but I will use them. And I have a bag of four peppers, so that's two peppers per day. But again, if I need to, I can pull out some bits from the freezer because the way I freeze the veg, I can just pull off what I need just to ramp up one meal. So that's kind of how I get prepped for going away. If I find that the potatoes aren't enough, I have some pasta and some rice and some couscous in the cupboard, so can all, I can always do a couscous, and actually, I really fancy an idea of it, having a couscous instead of potatoes. So I might do potatoes for lunch and dinner today. Let's take, uh, let's say, let's put those three in today, and then for lunch tomorrow, I might do those two potatoes and then do a couscous in the evening. We'll see how we can balance everything up. And that is basically what I would normally do for lunch anyway. I don't go mad with it. Um, I do it like a big chopped up stir fry lunch and that does the job. I've usually got, I put out um, various sauces and things that I've bought over time and I'll put a bit of that in to add as a, a stirring sauce. And that'll pretty much be it. But that's how I make sure that nothing goes to waste. And if I had way too many vegetables, I would be chopping some of this stuff up and putting it in the freezer. Maybe pre-making it as a almost like a, a pre-made casserole, because that way I can put it straight out of the freezer when I get home, so that in the evening I have something to eat when I get home, because I won't get home till say mid-afternoon, and then just tired because I've spent about six hours on the road. And I think I might actually have one or two of those in the freezer at the moment. So I might pull one of those out and have that. It's going to start getting to the point now where I am going to start batch making like winter style casseroles. The temperatures are definitely turning. There are, you'll get several days where it's really cold. Then suddenly the temperatures will be back up to 21, 22 degrees and it's like 16 at night. Then it'll drop down and it's 6 at night and it's 13 during the day. It's really hard to keep up with it and it's hard to prep for it because now it's not too bad. It's really windy today, but temperatures are up to 20 again today. And it's been it's going to be like this all week until I go away. And then on Sunday when I'm due to drive off, it's going to start tipping down. And it looks like for the next week, certainly down in Kent where I'm going to be, it's going to be tipping down for at least that first week. So no getting out walking for me by the looks of it. It looks pretty bad, but it can change. So, <laughs> doing what I can, I'm taking my hiking gear with me, I'm taking all my walking gear because I do have the option to get out 
I will because I can't stand being cooped up. It just doesn't work for me. I'm just having a look to see what else I've got in the cupboard. If I get really stuck for food, I have cereal, I have some muesli and some porridge oats. I'm trying to cut down on that. I'm still doing the let's eat less sugar thing and I do feel better for it. So I'm going to try and stick to that. I have some garlic cloves to use, although they will probably last while I'm away. What else have I got? Let's have a look. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it at the moment. I've got some stock cubes. So I've got plenty of stuff to be going on with, and I just need to just eat my way through what I have here, and it's, it's good because it keeps me kind of rationed. It stops me from going over the top. I don't have anything else I need to eat. There is no dessert type food. I don't buy any of that anymore. There's no bread out. I don't buy that anymore. So yeah, we're doing pretty well at the moment. And um, I've got a banana and that is about as close as I'm going to get to desserts. And I'm trying to not eat sweet stuff. And some days are great. They're fantastic. Other days I'll get to the evening and I just want to eat and eat and eat and eat. And I think some of that is to do with the cold temperatures. It's very triggering for me. And the nights are drawing in. So that feeling of hibernation is starting to kick back in. And that's always a killer for me. So challenges ahead. Mm, don't enjoy this. I hate that last couple of days before it's time to go away. I try to be really organised. So I start packing two or three days beforehand. I packed up some work to do. And then I start packing clothes. And basically, I, I feel like in limbo. I don't want to get started on any other work. And I've got bits and pieces to do. And I'm kind of like floating around, getting organised. And I just want the time to be gone. I just want to be in the car and driving. So I'm um, just finishing off packing laying out all the bags, I've still got things to add to everything, there's stuff I need to take down, it's my mum's birthday, I've got my uh, my niece's birthday is coming up, so I want to take that down there rather than having to post it, and just like being organised with the bits and pieces I need to take, but uh, it just drags, oh my god it really drags, and I just can't wait to be gone now. So here I am. I've made it down to Kent. There's the lovely garden. Looking a little damp. It's going to be a wet week for the first week. I travel down at the weekend this time. Normally I go during the week and I try to travel in between what are essentially the rush hours. But I came down on a Sunday and it doesn't seem to make any difference. The only difference being, although there were roadworks, they weren't actually functioning, so the roads were probably moving a bit better. So I'm here now, I'm here in the chaos of the south, with all the things going on and all the drama, etc, etc. Um, I've been here a couple of days now, it's my mum's birthday today. Mum and Dad have just taken their eldest grandchild to school, so I have half an hour to myself and that's going to be it. Um, that's it really. Nothing much going on. I'm just pottering around doing all my usual things. I've made lists of things that I want to do while I'm down here. I want to tweak some um, some bits on my website. I've brought work down so that I have um, I have some jewellery making stuff to do. And that's about it. This um, This was supposed to be a new post but my last post my last week in the life post before I went away was really short it was only about 15 minutes long so I'm just going to start adding things to the end of this um, I don't think I'm going to get an awful lot of recording time in while I'm down here the weather's pretty miserable so I don't know how many walks I'm going to get I think last time I was down I only got one or two in because it just rained every day so we'll see but that's it. Um, yeah, I'm here. I made it. Uh, two things I'm really enjoying is not having to wear extra layers to keep warm. And Wi-Fi. <laughs> because the 4G's where I am, even though Smarty have now disconnected the 
the three G's from their masts, the 4G hasn't got any better. So you get a really good 4G signal in the morning and early afternoon it just bottoms out. So I've got used to doing any uploading, downloading, that sort of thing in the morning while the signal is good and then just being patient the rest of the day. Um, it's really weird being somewhere where when you click on something on the internet it opens straight away. I'm used to things taking a while and I've learnt a new, new aspect of slow living which is that the internet doesn't run fast. <sighs> That's what you get when you only have 4G's and I'm okay with it, honestly. I can manage, I can get done the things I need to, I just have to move my routine around a little bit um, and frankly I can cope with that. I know people want to have full access to everything every second of every day but I don't. So um, I'm enjoying it while it's here um, and then when I go home it'll be back to normal again. So this is like a proper little break. It's more comfortable, it's nicer surroundings, it's more peaceful. Despite the extra people and the extra noise, the outside is quieter. Um, I'm not getting woken up at six o'clock every morning by all the neighbours getting ready to go out to work. It's peaceful. So I'm really enjoying that. I'm feeling quite relaxed at the moment, actually. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts when I've been cooped up with a minimum of two other people for two weeks. Um, and I'm always kind of slightly glad to go home and just get back into my own space. Um, I have lots of projects planned. Um, there is one particular project which I'm not going to talk about yet because I need to do more research on it before I decide to do it. Plus there's a lot of pre-research that I want to record if I do it. Um, which will be a little bit nerdy for some people because it's about energy usage and appliances and stuff like that. Um, but I think it could be quite an interesting little side project to add. Um, so I'm going to save that for, that will come sometime in October, um, when I'm recording this it's not October, it's the 20, it's, it's a week, the last week of September basically, because everything's running behind at the moment. So by the time you see this I will be back home in the north and that project will begin. I'm waffling, I'm going to shut up. Um, I'm just taking advantage of the little bit of time I've got whilst my parents are out and I've got the house to myself. Um, I will have some more time later in the week because they're going to the cinema and I'm not going with them. Um, so I will have a few hours then to record a bit more if anything's happened. And if I get nice weather, um, I will go out and walk and talk to you there as well more ticking clocks. Anyway, so that's it. That's my little update. I might add more to this video because I think it's still only about 20 minutes long, which is quite a short one. But maybe that's enough. I know not everybody likes really long videos. Um, and I do a lot of long videos if you've just seen my last car camping trip. So you probably have enough to be going on with. So I might just wrap this one up and post this up, but we'll see. So if, if that's what I do, thank you for watching. And um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Speak to you soon. Bye.